What's up, my ninjas? This is another episode of Karate Schooled. My name is Gabriella Corvina. I'm a martial artist and actress, and I'm going to school you today. All right, guys. So what we're going to learn today is a sidekick. A sidekick. If you haven't seen the previous tutorial before this or previous Karate Schooled, it's in the link below where I show you how to do a roundhouse kick. And actually that kick, learning it before the sidekick will actually help you out a lot. It teaches you how to rotate your hips over, which what is what you really are going to need in this lesson in particular. So if you haven't checked it out yet, go ahead and go in the link below and check that out before you watch this video. And come right back because I have something to teach you. Okay, let's do this. Let's get into this. What we're gonna do is first and foremost showing you guys the stance once again. If you haven't been checking out the previous Karate School videos, I kind of go over the stance, but I'm gonna quickly once again go over the stance with you. Now, whatever your strong hand is, that's what's gonna go on the back side of your body along with the same side leg. So I'm right-handed uh, and also my right foot uh, leg is my strong side. So I'm gonna put both of those limbs in the back of my body. Now, before I was standing about shoulder width apart, Okay, with my feet, all I wanna do is stagger those feet out now. Okay, my body's facing the corner of the room with my shoulders, my knees are slightly bent, I'm up on my back toe just slightly, and what I want is my front toe to line up with my back heel. And that's your fighting stance. Now, if you're left-handed, it's just the opposite for you. Okay, so this is what we call left fighting stance, right fighting stance, or orthodox, or southpaw. Okay, now where do your hands go? We talked about the feet, hands, elbows tight next to your rib cage, protecting your body. Okay, I'm not facing you squared off here, so I wanna stay sideways, and my hands are up, closed tight, thumbs over those fingers, next to those temples. This is our fighting stance. All right, go ahead and get into your fighting stance. Now, let's go ahead and get into this side kick. The most important part of this kick is rotating those hips. So if you didn't get a chance to watch the Karate School where I talk about roundhouse kicks, go ahead and watch that first. It will help immensely before you get into this kick. Now, what we're gonna do is first and foremost chambering the leg. Now, your strike or your weapon in this particular kick is the blade and heel of your foot. Now, I'm gonna show you guys the right leg first or my back leg first. So what I wanna do is I wanna pull my toes back, I wanna point with my heel, and I'm gonna go ahead and extend this out for you guys. That's that side kick, okay? So once again, extending it out, extending it out, extending it out. Okay, so I'm pointing with that blade and heel of my foot. So if I were just to show you guys with my hand, okay, heel and the blade, that's what your uh, strike or your weapon is with this particular kick. Okay, this is a very powerful kick. Uh, it can go to the face, it can go to the abdomen, um, it can even go on top of the knee. Uh, so this is a good weapon. Remember, only use it for self-defense, okay? Um, or situations where uh, you need to protect yourself. So that's a good reminder for you guys when you're learning these techniques. Um, now, let's go ahead and get into this kick. Let's break it down again. So, pulling those toes back, okay, and going ahead and rotating that foot over so that I'm pointing with that blade. So, if I were to have the blade of the foot and my heel down on the floor showing you how I'm striking, this is how we're striking, okay? Blade of the foot and the heel. So notice how my toes are pulled back, and I'm on the blade of my foot and my heel. Okay, now chamber that leg up. We're gonna rotate and pivot our foot and hip all the way over. So up, rotate. Okay, and again, one, two. And again, one and two. Okay, notice how I'm all the way sideways to you now. Now, the last part is the extension and hitting once again with that blade, with that knife, okay? That's your pinpoint, that's your weapon, okay? So extending that leg out, shooting those hips out with it. So I'm here, knee up, rotate, extend. Notice how I lean back into that. That way I can get more power, more distance out with my hips. So I'm gonna show you guys this way now, because I'm gonna kick this way. So 
up, rotate, extend. Again, up, rotate, extend. Okay? And that's your side kick from the backside. Now, same thing as the roundhouse kick. You want to get your hips over. Um, and same thing on the front side. You don't have to pivot as much. Um, all you have to do is this little movement with your back heel. Okay, now we're going to practice the, that run uh, the side kick on the front side. So all you have to do is rotate that heel forward here. Okay, but same thing here. Okay, you want to chamber that foot back to where you're holding that blade in that heel. Knee up, extend. Okay, and I only have to do a slight movement here with that uh, side kick. Okay, on the front side. Once again, up, extend. Okay, back side, up, extend. Rotate that hip over. Okay, and this kick, you can generally just keep your hands here. Okay, a little extended or close to your face. Whatever helps your balance. And that's the side kick. Thanks for watching guys. I hope this lesson helped and that I broke it down just enough for you guys to understand. What technique do you want to see next? Let me know in the comments below and I will show it to you guys. All right, I'll catch you later. Bye. All right, ninjas, if you like this video, make sure that you check out these other Karate School videos here and here and subscribe right here and Turn on those notifications. And if you don't, I'll punch you in the face. Just kidding.